Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to this week's Hearts of Iron Vault Challenge. We're going to play as Albania and annex Italy. Well, let's say these bits of Italy and possibly some others because I'm probably going to forget Rhodes and the African possessions if I know myself. Um, anyway, let's go. Regular difficulty, Iron Man mode and historical focuses. Albania. I did play an Iron Man game as Albania before, so it's Iron Man Albania 2 and let's go. We start with one unit, three factories, very little manpower, and a generic ruler. It's going to be difficult. So let's do the usual. Political effort first. Infantry equipment one, not researched yet. And some other generic research choices. Let's also train some more divisions. And that is it for our first moves. Let's speed the game up and unpause. Political effort done. Let's start changing our ideology to fascism. We have enough political power to modify our country. Let's use that to get some manpower. Because it takes time to mobilize and we don't have any. Militarism. Let us open up political discourse. Our fascist support is now at 40%, which means it's time to discredit the government. And hold a referendum. And we're fascist. Okay, who did we get? Compassionate gentleman. And the financial expert. The financial expert part is actually quite good. Okay, I'm happy with that choice. Now, we're going to attack Yugoslavia, but we're not going to start justifying just yet. We're going to wait two more months. Why? Well, because we want um, the declaration of war to coincide with the Anschluss of Austria, more or less, and that happens in February 38 on historical focuses. So we'll have to wait a bit. Let's uh, gather up some political power. I'll do... Hmm, Yugoslavia and Bulgaria. It's the middle of 37. It's time to start justifying a war goal. Let's do one on Serbia. And let's also justify for Bulgaria. That should do it. Oh, yeah, all the Chinese things. Let's go to war economy. Mm, I think it's time for military youth now because we have almost mobilized all the manpower we could mobilize. The Anschluss of Austria happened, which means we're pretty much good to go as soon as our war goal is ready. Let's get an army regrouping expert. We have the war goal, we're pretty much good to go, although I'd rather deploy these two units first. So let's wait a moment. We are now ready to attack Yugoslavia, and this is probably the most difficult part of this challenge, because it is partially based on luck. We need to join the faction of the Germans. Uh, well, that's called the Axis. And we need to attack Yugoslavia after they have removed some of the troops from their border to reinforce the German border, but before they get guaranteed by anyone. So there is a huge luck element to this. Let's see if we can make it work. All right, no guarantee so far. Did you maybe go? Okay, they guaranteed Bulgaria instead. Good. Cancel the Bulgarian justification. All right, they're moving off. See, they're moving these guys off to secure the German border, and they're moving these guys to reinforce the gap. However, if we attack precisely at the right moment, we'll be able to move into those empty places. Ah, oh, crap, they switched to a normal move order. It's going to cause some trouble, but hopefully we'll be fine. All right, they're gone. Now it's just you. Let's wait for the horse to move off as well. Okay, let's go. Whew. Now, I need to give some manual orders. Okay, I thought it over a bit, and I think these orders should do the trick. Now, this one should stop this guy, hopefully. If not, then this one. And these guys should be able to move and take Belgrade, Sarajevo, Split, and possibly Zagreb, if, if this goes well. Let's see if it does. All right. So far, so good. We've stopped these guys. Actually, let's stop that cavalry unit as well. This is not meant to actually break through, it's meant to stop them from reinforcing the other bits of the border. I wish I had cavalry, but we didn't have enough army experience to make such a template. Now, I could easily win this if I called in the Germans, but if I called in the Germans, then the Germans would want stuff. Right, how is your... What the hell? What the hell happened to Yugoslavia's low unity? Did they change that in... Oh, crap. They removed the most fun thing about Yugoslavia. God damn it. <sighs> I'm gonna have to call on the Germans. Well, now my whole plan might not work out. Let's just sprint for the victory points, and if it doesn't work, we just call in the Germans. We will have acquired a lot of points by then. I understand the game has to keep evolving, but... 
They keep taking out all the stuff that I like. But at least it looks like we're gonna take Ljubljana. Ljubljana? I need to call in the Germans. I really do. That's a pity, but I have to. Yes, I would love some land lease. Ah, damn it. Independent state of Croatia. Is that enough? It is enough. Croatia is a thing, but I can take the things that I can take. Okay, let's let's risk this. Take these two. Okay, nobody else has taken anything. Germany has given me the war code. Perfect. Croatia will be a thing, but will not bother us. Okay, good. Now I need to plan my next moves. We have 25 factories, which is not horrible. At this point we have grown a bit and we can hold our own against uh, a weak enemy. And we have two paths we can take. First, we defend ourselves against Italy for a while, turn democratic, join the Allies and have the Allies beat Italy up for us. Option two is we stay in the Axis and make Italy not attack us. That seems simple. However, Italy will first do Albanian occupation and only then Pact of Steel, which will lead to it joining the Axis. That means they will still declare war on us before they join the Axis, thus putting us and the Germans at war with them. And that scenario would be welcome, because the Germans would beat them up for us. However, Germany is also going to attack Poland. And France, and Belgium, and the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom, and Denmark, and so on. Which means we'll be unable to win this war. But there is a way around this. Anyway, let's unpause. And wait a bit. Let's add support artillery. We also got some planes from the Yugoslavians. Let's deploy them. What are we waiting for? We're waiting for Hungary to renounce the Treaty of Trianon. We're also going to improve our relations with Italy. Now, at the moment when Hungary finishes Treaty of Trianon, or rather renouncing it, we must start justifying a war goal against them. At this point they will be fascist, so nobody will guarantee them, and we need to attack them as soon as possible. Soon you will see why. Alright, they are finished, they are now fascist, which means we can start justifying a war goal on them without any guarantees. There you go, 200 days. Germany was still sending us guns up until now. We do have some political power, let's use it to switch to free trade, which is going to increase our factory output as well as our research. Italy is about to finish befriend Bulgaria and they should attack us afterwards, yes, Albanian occupation. And as soon as they can, they're going to declare war on me. But there is a way around it. We will only have a few days to accomplish it, but we can trick the Italians into being unable to attack us. We have our war goal, let us attack. Declare war. Do not call anyone in and do not activate the attack order. We're just waiting here, also fortifying this bit. Why? Well, because now I'm expecting Italy to send me volunteers. Thank you, Italy. You're such a good chap. And you know, the thing with volunteers is they can't attack me when they have volunteers sent to me. So now all we need to do is maintain this war as ongoing until the Italians join the Axis. Italian ultimatum. The volunteers have not arrived yet. I'm not sure if this counts um, if they haven't arrived yet, so I'm going to delay this decision as much as possible. Fate of Czechoslovakia, yes, this is also helpful, since the Hungarians will have to cover all the borders here with their troops, thus making it easier for us to actually advance into their territory. Five divisions Italy promised are here, and we only have one week left. Okay, where's that Italian force? Here you are. Well, Rally to Zog, even though he doesn't rule us anymore. The trick here is, I can't end this war before they join the Axis, because then they'll immediately attack me. Italy has a war goal on me, and Italy has volunteers sent to me. So the Italian volunteers are naturally securing my border with Italy. And here we go. Italy joined Axis. Now, we're safe. They can no longer attack me. Well, as long as I stay in the Axis. Let's activate our order, because now we can safely finish the war. You, there. I should probably go aggressive. Hello, Hungary, my new puppet. I created some colonial templates. This is just a 20 with infantry with some support. And this is a classic 7-2. Poland refuses German ultimatum, which means the war is about to start. And so is our justification. Let's make sure to improve relations with the British and the French. Germany declared war on Poland. Let's justify a war goal on Greece. To make sure we won't um, 
have them guaranteed, let's make sure to maximize our relationship with the British by sending them lend lease and some convoys. Poland has capitulated. Hey! The Germans are getting through the Maginot Line, really? Just like that? How did that happen? Let's go to extensive conscription. What? We are on historical focuses. And... Really? You know that... that I think that's the first time I have seen this on historical focuses. Is that because France was so quickly defeated? Franco-British Union it is. Under Chamberlain. The United States joined allies already. This game is just crazy. A war goal against Greece is ready. Did you get any extra guarantees? No. Which means we can attack. But my initial attack has actually been going to be focused on Romania. Um, because the Greeks won't really be a problem. Romania might. But if we can get Romania before they can defend themselves properly, well, that will fix the problem. As soon as Romania joins the war, Romania has joined the war, let's do some manual management now. If all goes well, we'll be able to get deep into their territory before they can organize a proper defense. Yeah, I generally dislike micromanagement, but they are stronger than we are, so we do have to resort to that. Yes, we can. We are across the river again, almost, and Bucharest. Soviet Union declared war in Finland. Well, you should never trust a communist. If I can take uh, Brashov and um, this place here, should be enough, although that is going to be difficult. As you can see, manual management is fiercely effective, although quite cumbersome. I would just prefer to paint an order, but we're not strong enough for that. Hmm. Italy is relocating troops from my territory. Are you going to attack the Soviets or something? Yes, you are. Well, that's a bit stupid. A couple more quick moves and the Romanian army should... Well, half of the Romanian army should be out of supply. Germany attacked the Soviets. Well, that could be a bit of a problem. Republican Spain joined Commandant. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder, that might actually mean the end of the Germans. You know what, I will wait, bide my time for a bit and see where this goes. In the meantime, I'll finish conquering Romania and Greece. And that is it. Okay, I think I'm just going to puppet Romania. They're going to be a great source of manpower for me. Wonderful. I can start making Romanian manpower units even right away. They have tons and tons of manpower. I'm not going to abandon the Hungarian ones. Uh, but I can mix and match. Go. Get Greece. The attack on Greece is, uh, yeah, very straightforward. Looks like we're about to have Greece taken care of. And that will be it for Greece. Now, what do we want with Greece? Do we want to annex them or do we want to puppet them? I'm feeling annex because uh, we already have a nice source of manpower in Romania and Hungary. And that will also give us a nice source of uh, factories. Yeah, let's just annex Greece. Now I'm wondering if I should do Order 66 or a regular attack against the Axis, because I think it's time to fight them. Let's switch on Manpower Law to Service by Requirement. Germany is already not doing too good. Yeah, we need to hurry up. Let us leave the faction. Leave Axis. Let's choose Istria as the target. And go. They might attack us first, which would actually be good. Justification for Italy is ready. With justification on Italy ready, we could start fighting right away. Um, but, even though I'm not going to use Order 66, I am going to distract my future enemies um, by joining their faction just for a moment longer. Now, they should clear the borders. I still have the war goal. The war goal is active for two years. We can wait a little bit until they leave the territory. We leave the faction. We need to re-request the puppet troops, because they were sent home when we changed factions. The troops are in position, the orders are activated. Well then, it's time to go. Italy. Goodbye. And I'm not going to call my puppets in. This way, these borders are safe. Go. Italy has called Japan and Germany. Let's move. So far so good. Making gains. Also Hungary making troops. We'll deal with them shortly. For now the troops that are in Hungarian territory are not a threat to us since, um, you know, they, they're they not at war. They're not in the war. It's only us, Germany, Italy, 
in Japan. And as they were unprepared and were unaggressive, we can make some very good progress early on. It will get more difficult very shortly. Going well so far. We are quite powerful, actually. You know, we're using uh, Hungarian and Romanian manpower mostly. Still, that doesn't change the fact that we are quite powerful. I'm a bit worried about the Australian incursion here, because it might make it difficult for us to take Italian lands. What is my war participation, I wonder? 8%. I need to increase it a lot. Yeah, the occupation of Italy was going to be a little bit of an issue if I can't get a hold of this territory. Anyhow, it looks like Italy is going to capitulate soon. I just hope I can get my due. Now, if I was in the Allies, I could ask for this territory, which is one of the reasons why I'm trying to get in. Italy has capitulated. Okay, got lots of stuff. Brits got more stuff. Everybody get into Germany. What's my participation? 15%. Less than the Soviets and less than the British, which will be a bit of an issue. Or rather, less than the Franco-British. Let's try just getting you guys up north. If we can focus on taking some of those important victory points, yeah, Berlin has fallen, uh, then Germany will capitulate in no time. And here it is. All right, what happened? Italy. Who got Italy? Italy was not puppeted. No changed its government, had its government changed um, by the British. So not all is lost. Good. Not so good, but not a disaster either. Uh, they are now part of the Allies and still guaranteed by Japan. However, we can, and they're not a puppet, so we can change their ideology. That will take a long time, but might make them leave the Allies. In which case, we'll have an easier time taking them over. Especially since they probably have no army right now. I mean, we're not in a great position either, but um, it's far from horrible. So, let's uh, get ready and then wait a long, long time. Yeah, taking the democratic guy might have been a mistake. Uh, Italy attacked Greece and Bulgaria attacked Romania. I was prepared for the attack on Romania. Uh, but I forgot to turn off the training on these units, so I was not totally prepared. Oh, Commandant is inviting me. Actually, I'm going to accept. That might be useful later on. Italy attacked Greece. I was bri briefly considering creating a faction with uh, Greece, which they would agree to. However, then Italy could call uh, the Brits and uh, the United States and so on into the war, which is not something I want. So I'm left with the option of just waiting until uh, their government changes. Seems like Italy finally decided to join the wars. Uh, in the meantime, I started preparing a coup in their territory after uh, improving the popularity of our ideology for a while. So that then the coup should theoretically be successful. Um, anyway, Japan should be giving up shortly. And then we'll just have to wait another year for the coup to be successful, and then hopefully um, they'll turn fascist and we can uh, conquer them. Japan capitulated. Here goes a peace conference, but I didn't really do anything, so I don't have the option to get something. Spanish CME's war. What the hell is that? Well, I hope you guys deal with that. I have been staging a coup and waiting for them to flip to fascist, but in the meantime, I just noticed that Britain is doing secure Iraq, or rather Franco-British Union is doing secure Iraq, which is going to make them attack Iraq and thus the Soviet Union. So I think we're about to find ourselves in a war with the Allies, which is slightly problematic, um, but also, well, fine, I guess. And they are constantly in non-aggression pact with us. Yeah, they're serious about this war. Okay then, and of course they're going to secure the Straits and everything. Uh, unless I attacked first. Ten days. Well, we're going to be at war anyway. Let's do it quickly. Maybe we can still take Messina before it's too fortified. Justification ready. Let's declare. It was gonna happen sooner or later anyway. Call everyone. Call everyone and let's go. I forgot about the naval stuff. Alright, let's uh, detach one of these guys to uh, damage control. Since we're doing this and I don't feel like fighting another world war all over again, um, I'm going to assume victory if we can control all of that, as well as all of our territory here at the same time. And Italy. Alright. 
The most important thing here is to quickly take Palermo. Because this is very difficult to take. Usually. Bulgaria joined allies, that's unfortunate. Okay, damage control team. Go to Bulgaria afterwards. And we're through. Uh, right then. I am going to leave one army here, just because if we lose this, uh, it will be very difficult to get it back. Order's given, now we wait. Bulgaria has been called in, but we were prepared for that. Yeah, it really looks like the Commandant has the upper hand here, doesn't it? We would still need to sail to Britain, but um, I just need, like, half a year, maybe a year, with my dockyards and the dockyards I'm about to get from uh, Italy to just uh, build some ships and dominate the English Channel for a while. And that would give us a naval invasion. Now the United States are a different matter, that would be quite difficult. Republic of Italy has capitulated. Great! Now let's take the remainder. I almost forgot. Into council of the coup. Just a few more provinces and we'll be there. Just a small paratrooper unit with all the support. Planes are deployed, troops are in position. Let's try and do a power drop here. Is this empty, really? All right, we can we control Sicily, we control Sardinia. Two bits left. All the bits of Italy here. As Albania. All right, we have fulfilled the goal of the challenge. As Albania, we have taken all of Italy, at least all of Italy here. Now, I'm not going to finish this war. I don't like playing these games to the end. It takes too long and it gets boring later on. Um, also, I didn't really pay attention to the global situation, just focused on this. Let me show you the global situation. Comintern versus the Allies. Seems like the Comintern should do well in this. Anyway, that is it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you liked and disliked about it. Check out the description for a playlist containing all the challenges, as well as a Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. And most importantly, let me know in the comments what you would like my next challenge to be. I hope you had a good time and I will see you soon. Goodbye.